In spite of the hardships, most of the plants in Leningrad continue to turn out munitions. manager remembers. Above all, when you recall it, you're astonished by the firm belief people had in their victory. You know, it seemed at the time when things were so hard, there were no grounds at all for such a belief. Take evacuation, for instance. It was a much more difficult problem than trying to get supplies to the front line. It was hard to persuade people to leave the city. They just wouldn't move. They said, we'll win. We'll beat the enemy soon. I'm not moving any place. Even today, I can't really understand some things. I keep remembering one of the former. He said, I know I'll die in three or four days. I said, what nonsense are you talking? Why on earth will you be dead in three or four days? But he did. Three or four days later, he died. These weary people sensed the moment their stamina would give out completely. In those days, you needed greater courage to live than to die. People worked long shifts, 16, 20 hours, in spite of the hunger and cold. As Leningrad history put it, at night the occasional flicker of fires and the red flash of exploding artillery shells lighted the gloom of the vast factories. But the Leningraders seemed to possess an indestructible will to survive. Leningrad is not afraid of death, they said. Death is afraid of Leningrad. It was more than stubbornness, more than determination. It was a quiet, indestructible dedication that lasted until death. Death that took almost all of these.